Hi-Fi in your listening room, Hi-Fi in your car. You may even have Hi-Fi going directly into your ear holes. But how are you doing in the outdoor Hi-Fi department? Poolside, camping, baseball practice. How you doing? Hi, I'm Bob and you, my friends, are in the United States of Analog. Once again, welcome to our great nation of audio participants. Patient. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do that now, and I won't bother you the rest of the video with that because I have something exciting to show you. I think it's kind of a boutique product. It's not going to be for everyone, but you might want to stick around. We're going to have some fun outdoors with Hi Fi and a company called In Phase Audio. This is not a paid sponsorship, you know, endorsement deal or anything like that. Chris, probably the one and only employee of Enphase Audio, reached out to me from South Dakota and asked me if I would like to hear a pair of his stereo Bluetooth speakers. And as he told me his story, I got more and more interested. And I said, yes. And we started talking about his career as a designer and in in part of a big manufacturing company that did all kinds of monitors and speaker arrays and, and lighting and visuals for huge arenas and festivals around the country. The pandemic came along. It gave Chris time to take pause and try to figure out what he wanted to do to satisfy his passion. He decided he wanted to create his own company called Enphase and make Bluetooth speakers of all kinds. Now he sent me the Enphase 4 and I was quite excited because before this, before I had these speakers, this was kind of my solution. Well, it is my solution because the in phase are borrowed, but this is my current solution. One of these boom box, well, no, it's a, it's a party speaker. And all the major manufacturers make some kind of version of this, and, and most of the big box stores sell some kind of version of that. But I've always found those speakers to be a little gimmicky, a little boomy, boxy in sound, not very satisfying from a hi-fi perspective. Now, when you get units like this one, which will go unnamed, where you can plug in a guitar or karaoke speakers, I, you know, that's great for the kids, but come on. I'm Bob. I'm in the United States of Analog. We've got to have a certain amount of sophistication, even outside, even poolside. My guests expect it now. And I was thrilled to get some true stereo speakers outdoors. Now, when it comes to the fours, there's more than meets the eye. Sure, there's a hand-built feel to the entire thing. This finish is done in Duratex, which is that industrial, almost like a rhino liner, I guess. Uh, a lot of professional monitors on concert stages are covered in this, and that's the kind of vibe this has. You can also get this in other natural finishes. Check their website. The grill is magnetic. And the frame of the grill actually serves as a waveguide, and it's kind of hard to show it to you visually because of uh, all the black paint, but there's a lot of craftsmanship that's gone in. Again, a handmade feel, and this cabinet is made of birch, which is lighter, stronger, and more rigid than MDF, and that's a nice touch. Also, you can see there's handles everywhere, and they're positioned kind of strategically. You can see that uh, I can lift both units up with one hand without any latches or physical connections between the speakers. There's also a compartment here in the back where you can slide in your cell phone. And the rear port goes upwards. I don't know, but there's some sonic advantages to that apparently. The cover is splash proof and the push buttons are all waterproof. Still in reality, I would consider this unit to be water resistant and not waterproof, but I think it's relatively safe to be poolside. Now I'll put the dimensions of the cabinet below as I tell you a little bit about the driver. These are no ordinary speakers. They're sourced out of Italy. These transducers are made by B&C speakers. It's a one and a quarter inch compression driver inside a high sensitivity four inch woofer with a water treated cone. The woofer cone acts as a horn for the compression driver inside. I think you can see it here. The crossover is at a thousand hertz and it's a true point source sound. The amplification inside, fully integrated amp, DSP, Bluetooth, all on one board for reliability. Bluetooth is 5.1. There's true wireless stereo. And let me tell you, I've played around with a lot of Bluetooth speakers and I've tried to pair a lot. That Sony party mode is not as easy to establish as the manual <laughs> might indicate. But these speakers were the easiest speakers I've ever paired 
in true stereo mode. And once they're paired, you're pretty much good to go anytime you turn on your smart device to play music. Okay, there's a lot more to talk about, and I don't know how much I'm gonna give you. I suggest you do go to their website because there's a lot of detail there. But it's 50 watts a channel into four ohms. Of course, it's a digital amp in here. High quality Samsung power cells inside. They'll, they'll range from about 13 to up to 40 hours of playtime. It just depends on how loud you play and the conditions you're playing in. And the battery is accessible through the panel for service in the future if needed. There's a couple of settings here for uh, bass and treble. You can boost either or both of those with the buttons. You can control the volume and also switch tracks. Now I asked Chris about the Texas Sun and he said you can run these babies all day. He's not worried about it. He's tested them and I tested them too. Listen, it is a treat to go outside and listen to your favorite music in stereo. And I tried it at the edge of the pool with these fours separated from each other at each end of the pool and me sitting on the other end in an equilateral kind of triangle and I had no problems with connectivity or dropout with the Bluetooth or anything like that. It created a very nice center image, instrument placement and everything. Very similar to what I would get to my listening room upstairs. Of course, you're outside, so there's a lot more distractions and sound and things like that. The sound was very good, very clean, enough to PO the neighbors, trust me. And it was a very cool listening experience that I've really never had with an outdoor system. Certainly that party speaker can't do that. Then I sat on my lounge chair, pulled up two tables in a near field listening situation. And that was even more incredible in my mind. That near field gives you so much more of the detail of the sound. I don't know, everything just seemed 3D, your open air, and the sound is all around you. I can't say enough about how good these speakers sounded in the wild. Plenty of power, plenty of sound, plenty of detail. Chris has, has done a marvelous job taking his knowledge of designing speakers and putting them into this Bluetooth speaker. And you're not gonna get anything like this from the commercial manufacturers. It looks simple, it looks plain, but there's a lot going on inside and a lot of thought went into this. All right, before we go jumping into the pool, watch out for the deep end because these speakers are $550 a piece, all right? Now, before you have a heart attack, remember, this is something that's handcrafted, well thought out, and maybe something you'll have to wait a few weeks to get a hold of. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're getting a lot of technology in here, and you'll be helping a young man follow his audio pursuits and his audio dreams. Or you can just go to Costco or somewhere and get yourself a plastic Bluetooth speaker that's gonna distort and has 15 feet of range. Your choice. If you're interested, go on InPhase's website. They've got a lot more information about these speakers. If you wanna geek out on all kinds of specs and battery life figures and battery drain, heat sink performance, and you know how this speaker actually works, all the information is there. And if it's not, Chris will be glad to talk to you just just give him a call. Uh, he's a very nice guy to talk to and I congratulate him for what he's done. He's followed his passion, he's made a great product, and he just wants to get it out to the people. Now this is a special order item. There's all kinds of finishes. It takes time for him to build them. But if you're interested, get in touch. Also, he says these work very good with your television. The latency is so low. In fact, it's just 17 milliseconds that he's used these with great success as television soundbar replacements. That's it, great engineering, great build, great sound, and a very unique experience. If you've only listened to music outside on an FM radio or a boom box, you're gonna wanna try these, the InPhase 4 in stereo. And I'll see you next time on the United States of Analog. 40 degrees outside, but let's, let's go jump in the pool and listen to music.